Uh, hello, I'm Chris, and today I wanted to share a different way of testing performance, in my opinion, also useful next to the micro benchmarking. So, who cares about performance? Obviously. <laughs> so, there are different ways of approaching, you know, testing the performance. One of them is obviously micro benchmarking. The other way could be to compare the disassemble functions and verify that the instructions are the same. That might be done with, for example, GDB to get the function assembly and try to compare that. However, that's kind of difficult because, um, you know, instructions might be uh, in a different order. There's memory addresses to check, so there's a lot of uh, magic there. Also, it requires external tools, so not ideal. The other way, we can parse and compare functions instructions. That is even harder because we have to write the parser for uh, 86, for example. So. Uh, a lot of magic here. So I wanted to show a uh, um, Pursman way of doing that, which is uh, doable with a uh, few uh, lines of code, and uh, it still gives us the ability to verify the performance. So it will require a baseline, meaning that we have to know what we want to compare against. But uh, yeah, that will, we'll look about uh, that. So there are obviously different approaches towards that, but we won't be discussing them. So what we have to do? We have to do a, a bit of magic with attributes. Uh, we have to align the functions, uh, not align the functions uh, to anything, and not reorder them. So in that case, when we have the baseline uh, function, OK function, UB function, which will uh, try to verify whether it's actually optimized well in the end function. When we compile that and dump it, uh, notice that the assembly will show the UB function to be the same as uh, the baseline, meaning it's optimized. And we'll be looking here at the, it's the start part of it, where it starts, uh, so that we can compare the sizes of the instructions inside. And we need the end to verify the last one, so that we can subtract from the previous one. So when we get the baseline size, we will get you know, A. A UB size will be A as well, because it's the same kind of optimized version. Uh, the version which is not optimized will be bigger, so that's what we want to verify. Uh, so then we can, you know, wrap it in the function. In that case, we'll have the uh, two parameters. One will be the lambda for the optimized version. The other one will be the baseline. We verify the parameters, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we do a bit of magic. And then we get uh, the call side to get the given one then uh, for us, given expected. And uh, we can calculate the offsets of the function uh, size, uh, instructions. And if the given size is uh, lower than, smaller than the expected size, we optimize. So a bit of showcase. So uh, let's verify that the integer of, uh, overflow UB is actually optimized. So notice here that we don't have the baseline, which is the second parameter, because by default, uh, we can just deduce the return type and return you know, uh, it. Uh, in that case, uh, that will be the baseline. So that won't be optimized, but that will be optimized, meaning it will be the same as returning the true. So we can keep it in sync, uh, if that makes sense. So we can verify that the function is actually optimized. If anyone is interested, there is code bolt provided. Uh, a bit more sophisticated uh, case. Uh, who likes regular expressor expression uh, libraries? So. We can also verify a use case in which we, uh, we have the match and that the code which is produced by the underlying implementation of the you know, high level abstract is more or less like that. <coughs> so uh, that's the baseline. So here what, what we actually verifying that the first lambda will produce uh, the same kind of instructions as the second one lambda, which is the baseline. And if the size is smaller or at least the same, uh, we consider that being an optimized version. So, all in all, if you like the performance of of anything, you should uh, put a test on optimized test on it. So, thank you. <laughs>